Hello friends, this video on exponents and powers part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us see how can we represent a number as a product of powers of prime factors. Like how, I mean if we are randomly given any number. So how do we write it in, in the form of powers? Now before even before we write a number like this let us understand what do we mean by writing as a product of powers so here this little boy gives us a number can you write 144 as a product of powers of prime factors now let's understand what do we mean by writing as product of powers that means we have to write this number 144 in this form where you have a prime factor now by now you all know what is a prime factor that factor which cannot be factorized further so we will see you remember the prime factorization method by which we find out the prime factors of any number that is those factors which are not only factors but also prime numbers they are called prime factors in case you have forgotten it please refer to the existing video of prime factorization Okay, so how we have to represent it is you have a prime factor and then this prime factor to the power some number again multiplied by some other prime factor to the power some number b. So a prime factor to the power a multiplied by a prime factor to the power b multiplied by a prime factor to the power c. So something in this pattern, so something in this form. So what is happening? So you see these are powers, right? This is exponential form, this is exponential form and this is product of powers. So that is why it is called representing a number as product of powers of prime factors. Now let us see how we do this. So in order to do this, let this is our given number 144. So the first step to do this is to do prime factorization of 144. So how do we do prime factorization of 144? So we write 144 which is the smallest possible prime number that's 2. So we divide it by 2 so only if it is completely divisible by 2. So in this case it is. So 2 7s are 14, 2 2s are 4. Now this again is divisible by 2. So 2 3 is a 6, 2 6 is a 12. Again this is divisible by 2. So this is 2 1s are 2, 2 8 is a 16. Now also it is divisible by 2 because 2 9s are 18. Now is 9 divisible by 2? No. So which is the next prime number? That's 3. Is it divisible by 3? Yes. So 3 into 3 is 9. So now if we want to write this number 144 as a product of the prime factors, how can we write this? 144 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So basically you multiply all of these you get the number 144. So when you look at it what happens here? So 2 is getting multiplied for 4 times. So how can we write this in exponential form? We can write it as 2 to the power 4. Similarly when you look at 3, 3 is getting repeated 2 times. So this is 3 to the power 2. So basically 144 can be written as product of powers of prime factors. 2 and 3 are prime factors. 4 and 2 are their respective powers and this 144 is the product of the 2. So this is what we mean by representing a number as a product of powers of prime Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.